time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Mike from 105.1 The Buzz joining us live. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Okay, I'm going to get on, not a soapbox, I'm just going to tutor all of our own horns yes. here. When we said, when Snoop Dogg came out on social media said he was quitting smoke, all of us were like, this is a stunt. We all knew. And it we was. We all knew this reeked of PR. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What was it? <laughs> Reeked quite indefinitely. We got duped by Snoop. He is selling us smokeless fire pits, and that is what's happening now. So uh, uh, we talked about it last week. Travis, you mentioned that, that uh, Snoop made the announcement on his Instagram that he was quitting the smoke. And then yesterday, out of nowhere, you see this ad. It just dropped. And uh, he, he says he's done with coughing. He's done having his clothes smell like the sticky icky. He is now endorsing solo stove smokeless fire pits. <laughs> mm -hmm. We knew something was up. I knew something was up. I gotta say though, right. I wasn't I wasn't predicting uh, solo stove. I thought he was getting ready to launch some line of Snoop Dogg's edibles. Oh, he was just going smokeless. giving up the smoke. I, I thought that, that, that was one of the uh, that was product. a good conspiracy theory. There were a whole bunch out there. I uh -huh. thought he was you know going back into the cave from the last time he quit smoking and was going to reemerge as Snoop Lion again. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely something Snoop was up to, and he bamboozled us real good this time. He did. He did. Well, he is a master marketer, though. They're, they've launched a limited edition Snoop Dogg design of the Solo Stove Bonfire. Oh, my selling goodness for, gracious. Selling for $420. Oh, I wonder why, for, I wonder why they chose that price. Mm. I bet it's just the market value. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, Absolutely right. love it. It makes me want to buy it, though. I, I'm, a, I'm here to support Snoop Dogg yeah. and his yeah. endeavors and creativity. If they, you, they if you snag cool. it, let me know. A little backyard fire at your place. That'd there be you fun. Go. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, Jesse Palmer uh, has an interesting update on the future of The Golden Bachelor. Yeah, he was talking to uh, Entertainment Tonight, and they were asking him with the success of The Golden Bachelor we've seen this season, do we think that we might be getting a Golden Bachelorette down the line? It hasn't been ordered by the networks, but Jesse said he's been clamoring at the bit for this, advocating for it. He said he'd love to see a house full of 70-year-old guys trying to fix stuff, falling asleep on the couch and snoring in the middle of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. If there's not a golden bachelorette, I will riot because I love this brought me back. I was out on this franchise. Has, has this been successful? Yes, I love it so much. Jerry is a literal angel. We must protect him at all costs. <laughs> or Gary, I'm sorry, not Jerry. Gary, but he spells it like Jerry. Um, so it's it's just it's the best show because you know, I grew up watching The Bachelor and The Bachelorette when I was in high school and I saw these 20 somethings ready for marriage and mm. thought, wow, what adults. Um, now that I'm <laughs> older than all of the contestants on this show uh, regularly, I just, I kind of, you know, they're all trying to be influencers. They kind of, they kind of lost me the last few seasons. Golden Bachelor's where it's at. These are the sweetest, older uh, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, they're just, they've all, they've all had different stories. For some, this is a second chance at love. For some, they never found the right one. Hmm. I, I have laughed. I have cried. <laughs> they, ha they all have my heart. I mean, it has gotten a phenomenal response. It, it definitely needed to shake up the brand a little bit, so I think it was good on that note. And it it got us all intrigued. I would love to see a Golden Bachelorette. Gives me hopes and dreams for my future. Oh, <laughs> yeah. there, there you go. It's 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 nice to hear that the uh, the palate has been cleansed with with the Bachelor a little bit. Yeah. I I watched one season many many years ago. And oh, that's you plenty. Do it. <laughs> that's all, that's enough. That is I, enough of that. I hung in there. I hung in there for years and years. In the last few seasons, I was like, oh, I just, I don't know if I can. Yeah. But more, more golden years, please. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm Mike. all about it. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. See ya. And you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz. All right, and some other entertainment news. There's just one more 